three, two, one. Welcome back, guys, to Jared the Journeyman. Today, we're going to go over some more journeyman test questions and show you where they are in the uh, codebook. Make sure you guys highlight these in the codebook because you may see them on your journeyman's test. Um, if you guys are getting something out of this series, I think I've got four. This is the fourth video I have. Uh, give me a like or subscribe. I'm trying to get those counts up, and I do appreciate it. That helps me out a little bit. So um, let's get going. Let me share a screen with you. And here we go. All right. Journeyman test questions, 10 questions. And this is uh this is video number four. Let me get going here. Uh first question: what's the what's the minimum calculated service load, service neutral load for a 12 kW electric range installed in a dwelling unit? And that's 5.6 kW. So what you do is you look at table 220.55, which is your electric ranges, and then you can utilize 220.61B, which tells you you can take 70% of the load. So remember, at um, 12 kW, if you look on that on that table, go all the way to the right under the first under one um, electric range, and it puts you in the C column which tells you it's 8KW for a 12KW um, range. Then you take 70% of that and you come up with a 5.6KW. What's the maximum size rigid metal conduit allowed for use? And that is trade size six, uh, 334.20B. Guys, I know we call it a uh, six inch conduit, four inch conduit, it's actually trade size whatever four six so trade size six is your largest conduit you have temperature provisions for circuits rated at 100 amps or less shall be assumed to be blank unless the equipment is listed and marked otherwise and that is 60 degrees celsius uh 110 c1 a1 so when you're rating your wire you could and it's less than 100 amps you could use that 60 degree column <clears throat> unless otherwise next one a 120 volt single phase 5, 15 and 20 amp outlets installed in what area of the dwelling unit does not require afci protection and guys that's the bathroom area 210 12 a make sure you guys are highlighting this and again if you guys are getting some out of this hit the like button for me Next one, non-metallic auxiliary gutters shall be supported at intervals not exceeding blank feet at each end. So if you look in the back of your keyword index under non-metallic um, gutters, you will see that it's in 366 and it's three feet. So it's 366.3 or .30 B. What is the approximate area of 300 KCML XHHW conductor? and it's 0.4536, and we find that back in chapter nine, table five. Remember, you used table five to find the area or of the conductor, and then, excuse me, and then um, you can go back to table four to find the size of the, con of the conduit, and you can figure out your conduit fill. Next one, portable structures at a carnival shall be maintained not less than blank feet in any direction from overhead conductors operating at 600 volts or less, except woo, for the conductor supplying the portable structure. And the answer is 15 feet, 525.5B1. So there you would look under carnivals in the keyword index, and you would find where that's located at 525 and then go from there. When used as, as a ground electrode, grounding ring shall be installed not less than blank below the surface of the earth, and that's 30 inches, 250.53F. Remember all your groundings in 250, so you'd um, look back there and highlight that. A location which is easily ignitable, easily ignitable fibers or flyings are handled, manufactured, or used in class, is classified as a blank location. And that's a class three, and you'll find that in 500.5D. 
Next one, what is not required to be marked on a transformer nameplate? And that's the primary circuit, 450.11a. And 450 is your transformers. Guys, that's it. That I, That's all I have today. Um, if you guys are needing some more help with this, um, I do have a private Facebook group where we go over these daily if need be. Um, you can get in on there, ask questions. I will be answering them for you. And then I'll hop on probably weekly and do a live chat. So um, we also have a lot more of those test questions available on this uh, Facebook group. So if you're interested, scan that QR code and we'll get the process going. Also, if you DM me or shoot me a message on Facebook or you can leave me a message below in YouTube and I can send you the information if you just give me your email address. Guys, that's all I have for today. So be safe out there and we'll talk to you later.